Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about HTML headings. So first I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create the file and I'm going to call it headings. I'm not going to say HTML and I'm going to say dot HTML. So the extension is going to be dot HTML. There we go. So first let's go ahead and let's create a basic HTML document structure aka a boilerplate and we know how we can create that. I'm going to change the title of our web page to HTML headings. Now, the HTML heading element is used to create titles on our web pages. There are six different kinds of HTML headings, and their difference is uh, depending on, on where you want to use them. So, the most important heading on any web page is it has to be an H1. And as a common practice, your web page must have only one H1. So you could have like multiple H2s, H3s, whatever, but you, you need to have only one H1 because search engines, they actually take a look at your web page and they specify where is the H1 and that H1 is going to be um, grabbed and is going to be determined as the most important title of your, your web page. Now, the H1 is going to be the biggest and coming down to H6 is going to be the smallest based on the size. So uh, the way you create HTML elements is using emit. So if you just write the name of that element like H1, it is going to show you what it is going to create for you. So you're going to have an opening tag and then you could provide some content within and then you're going to have an ending tag. So I'm going to just say enter. This is our very first um, H1 element. First off, I'm just going to save this document and I'm going to open it with live server so we can see all of our changes live. Now in here, uh, I could write anything. I'm going to say um, HTML. I'm just going to say HTML. Yeah, that's good. And when I save it, you're going to see that this is an H1. We can also go ahead and inspect it in the console. I'm going to bring this down and in here you can see that it says an H1. Now, when you hover on this element, you can see the blue background, the uh, almost um, brown, orange, light orange, uh, brown. I'm not really good with uh, color names. Uh, these are actually CSS properties. We are going to talk about them when we get to CSS. So this is an H1, and I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create an H2 as well, and I'm going to call this article two. And when I save it, you can see that H2 is relatively smaller than h1 we can also go ahead and we can create h3 i'm going to say article 3 now this process it may seem tedious there are some um uh, uh, emit tricks that allow you to create html elements very fast i'm not going to cover them in this video we are going to cover them step by step because this is very very beginner oriented i don't want to scare you away i don't want to overwhelm you with the information that I'm providing you here. So let's just go ahead and create them manually and I'm gonna say article article um, four. There we go. And I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna say H5, article five, and I'm gonna say H6, article six. Let's save that. So starting from H1, as we come down to six, all the headers, they are getting smaller. Now. You need to keep in mind when you're working with HTML that the browser that you're actually using, it provides some pre preset styling, which are actually preset by your browser on your HTML elements. So this HTML, it has a predefined font size. Where you can see that, they are called browser styles. We're gonna talk about them more when we get to our CSS because uh, again, they are called styles. So if you click on this body and you, if you grab H1, you can see that this H1, it has a, a display of block, font size of 2M. Now, how much is 2M? Again, we have not studied CSS units, but we, you could click on this tab which, where it says compute it, and you can take a look at all these styles which are defined by the browser. Now, you have not defined any of these styles, right? These are provided to your HTML elements by your browser. So when you're writing CSS, essentially for the most part, what you're doing is you're changing these styles. On the way, along the way, you will be creating a few new styles, but again, you will just be changing these uh, predefined styles by your browser. 
So if I come down, if I come to the font size, there we go, it is 32 pixels. We're gonna talk about what pixels are, what is M, what is the relationship of M with pixel, and this 2M, how is it 32 pixels? I'm gonna say this because uh, the HTML document, it, it has a default font size of font size of 16. 2M means two times the font size of the root element, which is the HTML. So 216, it means 32 pixels. We're gonna come back to these uh, browser, def uh, browser default styles later. For now, just focus on your headings. Uh, the bigger the heading is, the more important that heading will be. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.